Hello, my name's Trudy and I'm a tutor here at Britson. Welcome back to another video. When reading a text or listening to something in English, you're probably going to come across a word you don't recognise. One way to work out what a word means is to take it apart and think about the root of the word and whether it has a prefix. Prefixes are added to the beginning of the word. For example, unhappy. The prefix un means not or the reverse of. For example, I can do my laces or undo my laces. Let's take a look at some prefixes and their meanings. Under. This means not enough. For example, this idea is underdeveloped. This idea is underdeveloped. Or my colleague has been underperforming at work. My colleague has been underperforming at work. Over. This means too much. For example, he feels overworked and undervalued. He feels overworked and undervalued. Or, that song is overplayed these days. I'm sick of it. That song is overplayed these days. I'm sick of it. Re. This means again. For example, I failed my exam, so I have to re-sit it in the summer. I failed my exam, so I have to re-sit it in the summer. Or, he told me to rewrite my essay because it was terrible. He told me to rewrite my essay because it was terrible. Miss. This means wrongly. For example, they misunderstood what I was trying to say. They misunderstood what I was trying to say. Or, I got the facts confused and I misspoke. I got the facts confused and I misspoke. By, this means two or twice. For example, she's not a lesbian, she is bisexual. She's not a lesbian, she's bisexual. Or he can speak French and English, so he is bilingual. He can speak French and English, so he is bilingual. Pre, this means to come before. For example, this TV show isn't live, it's pre-recorded. This TV show isn't live, it's pre-recorded. Or, in pre-COVID times, most people spent the summer at festivals. In pre-COVID times, most people spent the summer at festivals. Dis. This means not or opposite. For example, he is a very dishonest person. He is a very dishonest person. Or, my mother tried to dissuade me from getting a tattoo. My mother tried to dissuade me from getting a tattoo. Sub. This means under. For example, the temperatures were sub-zero. The temperatures were sub-zero. Or the customer service was sub-par. The customer service was sub-par. 
So, the next time you see or hear an unfamiliar word, look for clues such as prefixes. In future videos, we will look at other ways you can work out the meaning of words you don't recognise. Until then, follow us on our Instagram linked below and I'll see you next time.